So how to create a tropical alien world in Blender using one simple technique. So this scene may look complex, but it's actually surprisingly easy to create something like this in Blender today. All of these um, rocks, um, these weird mountains, the beach, these uh, mushroom crazy things here, and even this uh, spaceship all consist of the exactly the same node setup and can be changed instantly so first off i'm just going to show you exactly what i'm talking about so i'm just gonna zoom into my scene here just holding down the control and move my mouse forward then i'm just going to click on this one here bring up Here's the sound. Now we can just change this value. So just by changing this value, we can make endless variations of a mountain. So um, exact same thing goes with the mountain there. Just change this value, and we get a different result. So, how do we go about um, setting up something like this? So, to simplify a little bit, I'm just gonna select everything and hide everything. And uh, I'm gonna bring in a cube. And now um, we're into uh, geometry nodes. So, um, go down to the Geometry node editor, and then click on new. Here we want to delete this group input node, bring in a volume cube. Then we're going to bring in a volume to mesh. Just plug the volume to the volume and the mesh to the geometry. And now we want to bring in a math node. I'm going to change the add to subtract, plug the value into the density. Then we're going to bring in two more nodes. So a gradient texture and a border work texture. So we plug the color from the gradient texture into the value of the math node and the distance of the one or texture into the value. So now we're getting something here. So if I'm just move this around a little bit, maybe scale it. Something like this, perhaps. Yeah, that would work. So, all we need to do now to change this landscape is, yeah, just move this uh, value here. As you can see, we get different results. We can move the one or texture, the scale tab get a different result and last little trick here is just to bring in a plane scale the plane up bring it down a little bit like that just go in and really quick create a new material and if we were to go back into view here as you can see, we already have something quite cool. So, I'm just going to delete this order and I'll bring back my scene. Now, first off, I'm going to show you um, this gradient texture thing here. So, what I like to do to create uh, mountains is change this from linear to quadratic sphere. And just rotate this around, scale it up a little bit, 
like that. Now we can just change it to something that we find interesting. So if I were to bring back my scene, Blender is not crashing, that's good. I'm gonna bring it over here. So this doesn't fit at all, but uh, that doesn't matter. This is just to show you uh, what is possible. Um, so now, of, co of course, I want to bring the same texture uh, onto this object. So the same texture that the rest of these mountains have, I want to bring on this object. And the way to do that is just by going to Geometry Nose again, click Shift A, and search for Set Material. And of course we need to know which kind of material we need. So I'm just going to click this one here and check it on Material Properties. 0.8 bring it in and um, the next step is um, that we have a lot of floating objects around our main object so it would be nice if this was a little bit cleaner so if I were to go into edit mode now as you can see it's not much we can do but if we search for realize instances so this node and this node basically takes uh, it makes um, solid structures from not solid structures something like that um, but if you want to uh, so for move this object uh, this Floating objects, we need to put it in there. That was definitely not the best explanation, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, so um, from here, we can go into the modifier properties and click on apply. And now, if you were to go into edit mode, as you can see, we can now just click Alt and select these objects and click X and faces and delete them. So that is the way to create super cool looking structures and mountains and mushrooms and spaceships and everything. Um, almost everything. Maybe a person like this. So um, if you have any questions, wonder, wondering about something, just feel free to leave a comment and I will come back to you. Have a beautiful day. Peace out.